Hey everyone, this is Joe from Gentleman Stationer. I'm back today. It's been a while. To, it's been a while since we've done a full length video here on the YouTube channel. But last night we received our initial shipment of the Kaveco Piston Filler Sport Fountain Pen. I thought it might be fun to do an unboxing. Um, take it out, fill it up, see how um, see how it fills and writes, and also to compare it to this, which is a vintage Kaveco Sport Piston Filler. Um, you may not know it, but the modern version of the Kaveco Sport, um, the form of it is based around a vintage pen made by a company. It's not the exact same company. Someone purchased the name and resurrected the company years later after it went out of business. But originally, uh, Kaveco Sport fountain pens were made with a piston. And they had this nice blue ink window, and you can see the ink level and um, you would fill it by activating the piston. This pen has been restored. Um, it's in my personal collection and I've had it for a few years now and it's one of my favorite vintage pens that I own. But let's open up the modern version of the Kaveco Piston Filler and we'll see how this one looks. Um, the pen ships, uh, right, at least for right now, in this commemorative tin and inside the tin, You have a couple stickers. You have the pen and a nice vintage style bottle of Kaveco Royal Blue ink. It's always nice to have. And here we go. So you'll see what they've done is they've basically taken the AL Sport, the aluminum version of the Sport fountain pen um, to, to house the piston me mechanism. It, it's probably more durable than the than the plastic that they use um, to make the the classic sports. Um, they've also taken the clip, the integrated clip from the Kaveco Lux line and um, the current Kaveco Art Sport line, which I like. Um, I think the integrated clip gives this pen a little bit more of an elegant, um, an elegant flair to it, uh, which is nice to have because it's, you know, this is not an inexpensive pen. It's $165, $175 for the deluxe set. So I think that, you know, you want to make this pen look as high end as possible and the matte black finish on it with that gold clip, the integrated clip and the vintage style touches. I mean, they've done a really nice job here. I really like this pen. So let's see how they've done. There's the ink window. It's got a little bit of a, a blue tint to it. Um, and compare that to the, the blue on the vintage Kaveco piston filler. Not quite as bright. Some of that might be due to age, but there is a little bit of a blue gray tint to it. Um, let's see how the piston works. Oh, okay. So the piston, they've used more of a captured converter model for the piston. This piston knob is not going to turn. Um, you can activate the piston that way to fill the pin. Honestly, I think I like, I know why they did this. They, they took this approach so that when people post the pin, there's no danger of them accidentally activating the converter and shooting ink out onto, onto their desk or onto their clothes. So to fill it, what you're gonna have to do here, and I've got some, got some paper, ink bottle, and I've got my nice uh, paper towel to blot the ink with. You're gonna unscrew the blind cap. You're gonna activate the piston all the way down. You're gonna open your bottle of ink, and Kaveco Royal Blue is a really nice bright blue ink. Um, I really enjoy this ink. Um, it's a true royal blue. Um, it's Kaveco inks in general, I feel are very underrated. Let's ink this one up. It's got a pretty solid, um, solid feel to it. So I filled this up. It looks like it holds, I mean, it takes a pretty good fill of ink. Um, you know, anyone who's complained in the past about the ink capacity of a Kaveco Sport fountain pen now doesn't have a whole lot to complain about if they uh, if they opt for the piston filler. So let's post this one up. Um, I chose to ink a medium nib fountain pen. Well, let's see how this uh, let's see how this one writes here.
that, that pen is an excellent writer. It's got a very smooth medium nib. Uh, I believe it's the same. Let's see if I can find the focus there. I believe it is. It looks like it's the same nib as on the standard sports. I, what I don't know, you know, they're selling nibs and nib units specific to this pen, or at least it appears that way from my, my conversations with the distributor. So what I don't know is whether they've modified the nibs and the nib units um, for the piston filler. Uh, so the nib feels very similar to your standard Kaweco nib. Personally, I like the medium on the Kaweco Sports the best. I always have. I think those have the most, the mediums and, you know, the fines and the broads too um, tend to have the most consistent flow um, in the pens. Uh, they're all generally pretty good, but kind of the medium has been my sweet spot. Uh, that's, a, that's an excellent writer, and I can't wait to to get this one into rotation. I think I'm gonna keep that one for myself. You know, as a bonus, let's uh, let's ink up the vintage Kaweco Sport and see how it compares. I'm gonna ink it up with the same the same pen. Now, now what you'll notice is this is a, I believe this is a 14 karat gold nib. The, the original Kaweco Sport piston fillers did have a gold nib on them. And it appears that this one, this one has a gold nib as well. Wipe that off. There you're gonna see that you can no longer see the ink window. That pen is filled. Uh, by the way, be careful. If you purchase, you can find these sometimes on eBay or Etsy, um, advertised as restored. I'll put some notes in the in the I'll put the link in the video notes uh, to some reputable restorers. P vintage piston fillers uh, need to be restored by a professional most of the time because the internal components, the seals, can sometimes leak. You know, if you buy one um, on the internet uh, blind uh, from someone who has not restored it, it might fill the first time, but you might end up with a leaky mess in your pocket. So just a word of advice, be careful on that front. This one, um, this one I did buy restored. Somebody has done a restoration job on it and they did a very good job on it. And let's see how the, the vintage Kaweco Sport compares. I mean, there's really not um, a whole lot of comparison here. The vintage nib, um, since it's gold and it's got a a longer nib slit on it, it's a little bit springier, um, as you would expect. It's not flexible, but um, but it is it is softer. The the uh, modern Kaweco sport nibs tend to be firmer. Uh, a lot of people consider them a nail, especially in the in the finer sizes. So you're not really going to get a whole lot of line variation. But you know, if you if you ever want to play around with a really nice gold nib in a in a pocket pen, check out some of these Kaweco sport um, uh, vintage fountain pens. They're very nice. Um, Sometimes you can find them in a set with a with a ballpoint pen. Uh, I think you can probably still pocket carry them. I've not tried to pocket carry this one because I really don't want to scratch it up. It's in pretty good condition. And I tend to treat my vintage pens somewhat more gingerly. I still do use them, but I but I treat them more more carefully than I than I do my my modern pens, which are designed to take a beating. So um this one I think I'm gonna keep inked up as well. And I'll be using this one alongside the um the modern Kaweco piston filler, and maybe I'll do a blog post next week comparing the two pens and my experience with them. Um, for now, I've got a small shipment of these in the shop at the moment. Uh, the you know, as you can imagine, these have been in high demand for a long time, so um, distribution might be a little slow. I know some retailers didn't get their full shipment, but you know, we should start seeing these. I don't think these are a limited edition. I think Kaweco intends to, to keep them in the line. And I would hope that we would expect to see additional designs and colors coming soon. But anyway, thanks. Hope you enjoyed.